All right, Shalom, Kahalayim La, Yahweh Bashim Yashah Bashim Rakakodash, Double Understood Apostles, the Apostles, and to the Elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well. Must peace, love, and salutation to all the brothers doing this work in truth and sincerity. Shalom. This is the brother Batat back again through the Spirit with another lesson. Lord willing, it be edifying. As you can see, the bullshit that goes on in here in Babylon, the Great America, your kids are being indoctrinated to accept. Uh, a perverse lifestyle and wickedness. They're being taught how to conduct themselves in wickedness. If they want to do this, they might as well have classes that teach you how to rob. They they should have classes that teach you how to steal, you know, which is basically the same thing. Uh, they should have classes to teach you how to make cocaine, how to make crack, how to sell drugs. They should have classes that teach you all of these things. If they're going to have tap classes to teach you about LGBT, LGBT, they might as well tell, have classes on tell you, you know, teaching the children how to be all kinds of, do all kinds of wickedness if, if this is the goddamn case, man. So as you can see, parents can't opt children out of LGBT lessons, says the judge. It says parents can are not able to opt their children out of lessons Featuring LGBT content, a federal judge has ruled. It says parents sued Montgomery County Public Schools in Maryland over the lessons after officials revoked their opt-out policy over the large number of opt-out requests. Parents said the failure to provide opt-out opt-outs forced them to give up their religious beliefs or seek alternative schooling. U.S. District Judge Deborah Boardman, which that sounds like a damn Edomite. It says those, hold on, Deborah Boardman, or she might be a Jake woman. It says the, it says U.S. District De Judge Deborah Boardman, though, though said the parents had no, it's lucky. It says the parents had not shown the policy would result in the indoctrination of their children or otherwise concierge their children to violate or change their religious beliefs. It says with or without an opt out right, the parents remain free to pursue their sacred obligations to instruct their children in their faiths. Judge Boardman, an appointee of the pres of of President Joe Biden, said in a 60-page ruling denying a request for a preliminary injunction, even if their children's exposure to religiously offensive ideas makes the parents' efforts less likely to succeed, that does not amount to a government-imposed burden on their religious exercise. So, blah, 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 blah. You know, as you can see, the the public is outraged by this thing being taught or allowed. You know, they cannot stop their, they cannot pull their children from um, LGBT classes or lessons. And this is uh, straight perverseness. So this is the uh, Proverbs 22 and 6. It says, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. So this this system is trying to teach the children to accept LGBT community, the community, they're trying to teach them to accept it, and 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 they engage themselves into it. So they're destroying the people. They're destroying the children. They're creating this next generation of super GMO um, sodomites, man. You know, numbers twenty three. No, it's numbers twenty and seventeen. Some some is at the spirit is telling me seventeen. No, it's thirteen. It's uh Leviticus twenty and thirteen. It says if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, that means two men lying together, you know, having sex. Both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So, this is what the, they are teaching the kids. They're teaching the kids to accept this, to 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 learn this. 
This should not be in a, a, a school so-called curriculum. But this is Babylon the Great. This is the place of wickedness. You know, this is this is the place that the Lord needs to destroy because it's destroying our people. The doctrine of Esau, the serpent, his, his poison is destroying our people. Everything that America has taught our people is destroying us. He's it's destroying us from the inside out. He's polluting us. Um, I'm trying to think of a scripture. A scripture ain't hit me right now. It's a scripture that said the Lord have polluted my inheritance. It is Isaiah 45, 47, I'm sorry, 47 and um, verse 6. It says, I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given to given them into thine hand. Thou didst shew them no mercy upon the ancient. Hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke? And that's exactly what Esau did. He, the Lord gave us over to the hands of these devils. And they have did nothing that benefits us. They have did nothing to construct us. Everything that these devils have done was taking us down lower and lower, man. Lowering our vibration. Destroying us. Everything that these devils, Edomites, want to do for us are destroying us. And he and Esau does not have any mercy towards us. That's why he's teaching his school curriculum. Because he knows, he knows that the Lord is against this lifestyle. And Esau is trying to destroy as many people as he can. He know the Lord hates homosexuality. But this devil want to teach it in the schools. Man, what kind of shit is that? Job 4 and 7. It says, remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent. Or it's like it. Job 4 and 8 is the one. It says, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity, which is Esau is planting that. He's constantly planting that seed of wickedness. And now he's, he's aiming it towards the children. Which he been doing that. It says, and so wickedness reap the same. So the Lord's going to execute judgment upon you devils for this shit, man. You're training these children up to be sodomites, man. And the women to be lesbians. And to accept that lifestyle, which is against nature. It's against the Bible. But yet they claim that the, the Bible is the rock of the land, but they do not. They don't keep that part, though. They exclude that. They don't, they don't keep nothing that's in the scriptures. This is Romans 1 and 24. It says, Wherefore the Most High get also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own flesh, right? Because the Lord the Lord gave you over to that spirit, man, that, that demon. Especially you falling out of the influence of this world. If you're engaging into that, the Lord gave you over to that. You better get out of that shit. You better repent, turn away from that, that sodomite shit. Or the Lord is going to destroy you. It says to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of God into a lie. Esau did. The thief came and not coming not but to steal, kill, and destroy. Uh, John 8 and 44. He is a liar and the father of it. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Esau did, man. Because he's the number one liar on the earth. It says, and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, God gave them over unto vile affections. The world, this this right here is a vile affection. It's an unnatural affection that the world, that that the Esau is pushing on the children. It's an unnatural affection. They want to follow after the lust of their flesh, and it's gonna lead them right to the right to the grave, let right to destruction. It's what the scripture says, the deceived and the deceiver are here. So if the Lord allow you to get into that, he gave you over that to that, you know, because he's in control of everything. For it, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Right. Almost uh, lesbianism, man. Women, women, on, women on women, you know, that's not that's against nature. A woman was created to be with a man, not with another woman. That's unbalanced, man. That's not the proper use of things. 
you know? But women burn toward burn in lust towards another, one another, because they lusting, man, you know? They're lusting for one another. You know, doing what they do. No need to say it, but you know, they do what they do. But it's against nature, man. It's not the way things are supposed to go. Verse 27. And likewise, also the men, right? Men work with men. Men line with men. Leaving the natural use of the woman, right? The Lord created women for a reason. You know? The woman was created for the man, and the man was created for the woman. That's how it works. That's the balance. Burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men working that which is unseemly, which is not right. And receiving in themselves that recompense of their own error, which was met. Because a lot of these, a lot of these situations, men with men, women with women, what does it end up causing? It causes diseases, man. It causes diseases. And that's the judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. I know somebody personally that was into that. And guess where they at now? They where they supposed to be. In the spirit world, because they was doing that shit. Um, Romans 1 and 28. And even as they did not like to retain the Most High in their knowledge, the Most High gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, right? That's a scary thing, man. That's scary. The Lord gave you a reprobate mind, which means void of judgment. That's That's scary, man. It says rejected as worthless. Oh, that's that's oh, that's that's a bad thing. Man. It says di disapproval, reject, condemned. The Lord gave you a condemned mind, disapproved mind. It says reversal of previous condition, proved to be worthy, I mean, abandoned in character, morally deprived, un unprincipled. So the Lord gave you over to that type of mindset. It says one rejected by the most high person given over to sin. Wow, that's that's deep, man. Abandoned or unprincipled person. Condemned, disapproved, vehemently. Uh that's everything. So that's basically the point. But um, that's scary, man, for the Lord to give you over to a, to that type of mindset. It says to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all uncleanness, unrighteousness, I'm sorry. Fornication, which means adultery, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, uh, malignity, uh, slacking, if I'm saying that wrong, whisperers, backbiters, haters of the Most High, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection. These people in this world, they don't have natural affection. They do the they do the things they do because Esau's allows it. This this vibration is pushed in the earth, and people are doing. Then when people are gonna follow it, they're doing it, even though it's not right. They don't care. They just wanna. They just want that feeling. They just want to follow the lust of their flesh. They want to please their flesh. Well, there's a natural way to please your flesh with a man, a man with a woman, and a woman with a man. That's the natural way to please yourself. Your flesh. There's nothing wrong with that. But when a man is lying with a man in, in order to please your flesh, or a woman lying with a woman in, in order to please her flesh, that's against nature. That's not the way it's supposed to be. There's a right way to do it, and there's a wrong way to do it. There's a right way to do everything, and there's a wrong way to do everything. It says, unmerciful. It says, who knoweth the judgment of the Most High that they will commit such things are worthy of death? Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So if you don't correct your ways, if you follow after the doctrine of Esau, you are going to find yourself in the spirit world because you're, you're following after the ways of Satan, man, the ways of this world. That's why you have to be transformed. You have to be changed, you know? So parents can't opt out out children out of lgbt let lessons and that's fucked up you know they're not true judges oh leader of this people caused them to err 
Oh, wait, who unrighteous decrees? That's what it is. Uh, let me get um Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and right grievousness which they have prescribed. And this is grievousness right here, man. You know? Let's go to Psalms 10. Psalms 10 and um verse uh four. The wicked through the pride of his countenance, his mind, will not seek after the most high. Right, because that's why if they were seeking after the Lord, they will not be pushing this on the kids. It says the most high is not in all his thoughts, because if the Lord was in his thoughts, he would think that this was wrong. Verse five, his ways are always grievous. This is grievous right here. That your child is going to be taught something about LGBT and you can't do nothing about it. It says, thy judgments are far above out of his sight. Right, because there's a judgment for doing this type of things. But Esau don't think so. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at him. So the reason why I got that scripture is because it says his ways, which is the wicked, Esau, is his ways are always grievous. And that, you know, homosexuality, LGBT, being taught to children is too fucking much, man. You know, brothers have kids. We got to worry about our children being taught how to be the fucking, be, the, be a fucking sodomite, man. You got to, it's like you got to go great lengths, you know, the extra mile to make sure that your son is going to be a, 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 um, a regular, you know, straight, so to speak, man. He's not going to be a mo. He's not going to be a sodomite, man. You got to go extra lengths to make sure he's going to be, you know, he's going to love women, not men, man. Because of the indoctrination and the doctrine of, and the, of the philosophy of Esau, that wine that dude, he got this, these people drinking. And they're drunk off of that. Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. It's an abomination to the Lord and unto men. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Deuteronomy 23 and 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. But you got to, in this society, you got to worry about your, your daughter being a whore or a sodomite too, man. You know? This place has to go, man. And I can't wait till this place is done for. You know, this is the, oh, let me go to Habakkuk real quick. Because, you know, Habakkuk 1 and 1, this is uh, Habakkuk 1 and 1. The burden which Habakkuk, Habakkuk, or Habakkuk, the prophet did see. Oh, Yahweh, how long shall I cry and uh, will not hear? Why, we cry unto the Lord about all the evil that goes on here. Even cry out unto thee of violence and thou will not save. Why dost thou shew me iniquity? We show, we see Iniquity every day, man, We've, which is sin upon sin. This right here is a grave example of iniquity, man. You know? And cause me to behold grievance. This is grievous to see right here. Remember what the last scripture said in Psalms 10. The ways of Esau are always grievous. For spoiling and violence are before me. And there and there are that rise that rise, raise up strife and contention. It says, therefore, the law is slacked. And judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceeded. So the law is slapped here in America, and judgment is never going forth. What judgment? Executing the law of the Lord. That's the judgment that needs to be going forth. It says, For the wicked doth compass about the righteous, right? Because they have went beyond our authority. The, the wicked have went beyond the, the righteous. They're the ones that's in power. The wicked. They have compassed us. They went beyond us. They're, they're stronger than us. It says, therefore, therefore, wrong judgment proceeded. They are the ones that make the laws. We are the ones that have to follow the bullshit ass laws that they push. You know? So, once again, man, you know, Lord willingness, this was edifying. You know, this right here is another reason why America must be destroyed. You know, the indoctrination of kids onto LGBT. It's just fucking ridiculous, you know? And this is why America must be destroyed exped ex expeditiously. So with that little willingness, that's what's edifying, quick and edifying through the spirit. 
you know, Lord willing, man, this be the year or, or Lord willing, next year be the year we get up out of Babylon the Great. And therefore, we can actually live without beholding all of this bullshit. So with that, I'm going to give all praises and the glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakodash, double honor to the, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Must peace, love, and salutation to the brothers doing his work in truth and in sincerity. I want to say Shalom, Kormi Asha Allah, Wa Abba Baba, Wa Abba Adawam, Shalom.